Let's start with candidate A. You have two minutes. You can begin now. Good evening to the examiners and fellow candidates. In my opinion, a teacher should be caring towards students. Uh, students is uh, people who are in the range of years who need care. As the teachers care the students, uh, it will help the student to feel comfortable with them. And the student may feel more easy to ask questions to the teachers. A caring teacher will care about the students, about what, uh, like, what the problem faced by the students, and help to solve the students' problems. For example, uh, as the teachers know that the students are facing financial problem, she will try to apply. To try to help the students to apply scholarship for him. Other than that, uh, caring teachers will care the results of the students. As they get the worst result, then they will give them more exercise. So make sure they can practice themselves. Uh, caring teacher care the performance of students in class and the attendance of the students. They will always phone or send letters to ask for reasons as the student was absent to the school for days. On the other hand, if, uh, uh, if the teachers is not caring, the students will not really uh, respect the teachers. Uh, because uh, in their opinion, the teachers is so difficult to communicate. Okay. And mm. Thank you. Okay, stop. Okay, let's listen to candidate B. You have two minutes. You may start now. Good afternoon, listeners and my fellow candidates. In my opinion, I think that. Uh, teacher should be able to express ideas clearly. A teacher should be able to express ideas clearly uh, in many aspects. First and foremost, uh, pronunciation is very important because a true, a good and correct pronunciation, the students uh, can uh, are able to understand what are the teachers trying to express to them. And uh, on the other hand, the students can also learn the proper pronunciation uh, of a language, maybe in which from the teachers. Um, if uh, other else, other, otherwise, 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 the students will be affected by the teachers. <coughs> Secondly, uh, the teacher should be able to express. The idea clearly, uh, for example, uh, if a teacher is teaching biology, he or she uh, must be able to explain what's happening <coughs> in the cell. <laughs> <laughs> and for instance, uh, when a teacher is teaching chemistry, he or she must be able to explain what's happening in a chemical reaction. Uh, in the other words, uh, a teacher must have a very good command of uh, the subject that he or she is teaching. Uh, then he or she will have a very clear picture of what uh, he's going to present to the students and the teacher will be able to clarify and illustrate the idea of the subject to the students. Uh, if the teacher cannot express the idea clearly to the students, the students will not understand what is the, the, the topic that the teacher is trying to explain to them and uh, therefore their uh, academic result will be deteriorated and they may not pass the subject with flying colors. Okay, stop. Okay. Right, candidate C, you have two minutes, you may start now. Good evening to examiners and fellow candidates. My opinion, the quality need to make a good teacher is uh, 
teach creatively. Teacher should cre teach creatively to make the lesson more interesting so that student can concentrate in class. The when the student feel more energetic, they they will not feel boring and they will make the lesson be the be their favorite subject. The method teachers should use different method to teach the lesson just as use type tree diagram to explain the all the history subject. Uh, use story to explain the history and experiment or quiz to explain science subject. So uh, by using this method, teacher can make student memorize the fact well they it can increase their understanding and enhance student memory. If teacher can do not teach creatively, the student may feel boring and they may sleep in class. They cannot concentrate what teacher teach in the class and they are not able to do well in the exam. Move to candidate D. You have two minutes, you may start now. Good evening to the examiner and my fellow candidates. In my opinion, I think that a teacher should be knowledgeable on the subject taught. Uh, a teacher is like a candle that burns themselves or indirectly sacrifices themselves to give light to others, which is they teach and they sacrifice their time, their youth, just to teach the students. So, uh, a student, uh, a teacher must be knowledgeable in the sense that they have to understand the subject they teach. Like, for example, for example, they have to understand the subject if they're teaching biology, chemistry. They have to understand what is it about. They have to understand also the contents where they are going to teach and they have to master it so that uh, in future where the students ask them they can answer their questions without having to say I don't know or they have to go back and read up on it. Uh, if they are knowledgeable, uh, teachers can teach more effectively. Um, for example, if the teachers cannot teach properly, uh, if the teachers are not knowledgeable, the students have to depend on themselves because the teacher cannot explain all the, the contents of the subject in the class and the students will have to go back and do their research and they might not be able to understand the subject or the topic itself. Uh, besides that, if the teacher is knowledgeable, they can help the students to understand better by giving uh, examples. They can give. Uh, they can explain using his or her idea of understanding. Uh, they can explain the topic by by explaining how he or she understands that topic when when they were younger as a student themselves. Okay, stop. <laughs> 